Hi, my name is Nicole Tate, and I'm a third year PhD candidate in the veterinary medicine program. I'm advised by Dr. Eva Furrow, and today I will be sharing with you my three minute thesis titled Determining the Subtypes, Pathways, and Mutations of Hyperlipidemia in Miniature Schnauzers. By the age of 10, more than 75% of miniature schnauzers suffer from hyperlipidemia, which means they have an abnormally high concentration of fat or lipids in their blood. Some of these dogs have such severe hyperlipidemia, their blood serum, which is supposed to be clear, looks like cream. This condition predisposes the dogs to problems in the liver, kidneys, and pancreas, all of which not only impact their well being, but can be fatal. Treatments for this condition include a lower fat diet and lipid lowering drugs, but only some dogs respond to these treatments. The things we know about this condition in miniature schnauzers go hand in hand with the things we don't know. First, we have evidence that suggests there are multiple types of hyperlipidemia in miniature schnauzers. However, how many subtypes and what characterizes each of these subtypes is unknown. Second, we believe that this condition has a hereditary or genetic origin as it is seen almost exclusively in this breed, but no mutations have been identified. The overall goal of my thesis project is to determine both of these unknowns. Before we get to my project though, we should probably know a few more details. In individuals with normal concentrations of fat in their blood, we see an equilibrium or a balance between the rate that fats are brought into the body and the rate that fats are cleared or used by the body. In order for the body to control these rates, there are many pathways or mechanisms that are involved, and errors or mutations in one or more of these mechanisms can result in hyperlipidemia. For my thesis project, we are going to analyze thousands of substances in the blood, including many types of lipids, to discover which pathways are involved. Then, to dig even deeper, we will analyze genetic data from affected dogs to identify the underlying mutations. The results of this study will be crucial for improving our ability to treat and manage miniature schnauzers with hyperlipidemia because we will know the specific pathways and mechanisms that are involved. We will have knowledge of the characteristics of each subtype and if certain treatment strategies work better for dogs with a specific subtype. We will also be able to identify miniature schnauzers at a young age who are at risk of developing severe hyperlipidemia. This will enable veterinarians to intervene earlier on in the disease process and hopefully reduce the chance of developing those serious and sometimes fatal complications. I'm very excited about this project and while I still have a lot more work to do, we've already found that there are at least two and likely more subtypes of hyperlipidemia and we have found mutations in proteins that transport and regulate lipid levels. I truly look forward to seeing what comes next with this research and I appreciate you listening to my talk today.